Okay, Scorpio, this is part two. I'm sorry the video cut off because I ain't got no motherfucking space on my phone. <laughs> okay, so this person is coming in to shower you with love, okay? They really have a lot of love for you, all right? They've seen a lot of signs and synchronicities um, guiding them or leading them to you, especially a lot of animals. Um, and the reason why you're getting like love and basically 888 or all of this stuff is because you put healthy boundaries up against things that no longer serve you, Scorpio, as well as friendship, okay? Boundaries came out and right on top of boundaries was friendship. So Scorpio, for this set of Scorpios, you guys have just cut off people who no longer serve you. And some of them were friends. And I'm sorry, you guys, I know this was very difficult for you, but this was your last test, okay? And um, it's unfortunate, but you had to put boundaries up because things just weren't going right. And you guys are elevating and excelling to higher situations. And you sitting on the phone and talking to these people all of the time are just not where your life is going anymore. So Scorpio, you did what you needed to do. It was difficult, but you had to do it, okay? All right, so let's see what else is going on in the grid for you, all right? telling me to put them down all right nature spirit i respect all the elements that brings to me and preserve life on earth okay so a lot of you guys are doing a lot of research on gaia mother earth fucking fairies um what else am i hearing occultic stuff um the government stuff don't get too heavy into that shit okay some of you guys need to look into your birth charts as well okay all right, yeah, flames of wisdom. I am open to all of the life wisdom and it shares with gratitude. So look, you know, you guys are getting intuitive. You guys are doing your research, Scorpio, and that is beautiful. You're right on your right path. Okay, a lot of you guys might go into hermit mode and start doing a lot of researching. And that's okay, you know, um, after you get out of researching, then you will start applying that information, okay? So that's what's up, okay? That's what Spirit said. That's what's up, that's what's up. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with your person, Scorpio. Now that we done got you out of the way, let's just see what spirit got to say. Even if you don't got a person. Oh, shit. Okay, so this collective of Scorpios um, to crown this reading is going through a divorce, okay? So, Scorpios, if you're going through a divorce, I am really sorry. I hope this divorce is for your highest good, Scorpio. And if this means that you're not married and you're dealing with somebody... They are going to be going through a divorce, Scorpio, okay? Somebody that you're dealing with is getting a divorce or is you, okay? Yeah, because they shit done hit the motherfucking plan, okay? This situation is about to explode, Scorpio. So look, either you're dealing with somebody who is um, married and they're getting a divorce, okay? Because the situation is about to explode or you are getting a divorce, Scorpio, because this situation is about to explode, okay? Yeah, somebody's coming in to set the record straight, Scorpio. So be looking out for someone to come in and let you know, like, hey, I gotta let you know, like, I'm going through a divorce, okay? Wherever they were at, the shit got hot as a motherfucker in the kitchen. <laughs> hot as a motherfucker, all right? Okay, so let's see what else is going on. Let's see what else is going on. All right, so this person is very busy. They're drowning their self in work, okay? Uh, they're going through this divorce and they're very stuck in their head about a lot of different things, a lot of issues, how they're going to come up out of this, okay? Um, I don't know if there's kids on the board, but I believe it is because family is out here as well, okay? Maybe this wealthy man is married that's coming to you, Scorpio. I don't know. You know, you tell me, Scorpio, in the comments what's going on, but they are having a divorce, okay? They're realizing who they're with was a big time bugaboo. Ooh shit and this bugaboo is making your person sick okay this sick card is not like covid sick but it's kind of like cancer sick it's kind of like when you neglect your health you're not eating right you're not dieting you're not doing anything you're supposed to do you're stressed out okay but your person is very stressed out because this bugaboo is driving them insane okay shit is crazy can't make this shit up this is why this person is filing for a divorce okay all right, so let's see what else is going on, all right? Okay, there was a lot of manipulation, okay? Your person is doing a lot of drugs, smoking weed, and drinking alcohol, but they are aligning themselves with the universe. They are realizing what kind of connection you guys have. There was a lot of black magic. When I tell you this person was under spiritual attack, ooh, this bugaboo was putting it on thick on this motherfucker right, yeah, all right? 
But Spirit is saying this person is standing up in their power. They're going to set the record straight. Remember, the crowning greed was tower card. We're getting a divorce and setting the record straight. Okay, so this person is standing up for their stuff, but it's taking a lot for them to do that. Okay, they got a heavy ass bugaboo on their back. Okay, they are uh, sick. They're making themselves sick. They were going through spiritual attack. They're definitely masking their feelings or trying to suppress their feelings with ma marijuana or pills or alcohol. But spirit is really working with this person. They're trying to align themselves with the universe. Okay, but they're going to be coming in Scorpio asking you, can they get a room? Okay because they're realizing they got a lot of fake friends and maybe these fake friends are saying nah don't go get a room with scorpio don't go do that okay but they're not realizing yet that they got a lot of fake friends around them okay so scorpio just know that somebody's gonna be coming in and they're gonna want more than just business in that hotel room you know what i'm saying i want to get a room on the other side of town all right somebody want to get a room with you scorpio on the other side of town shout it okay i don't even think this divorce is final yet but they're trying to get a room okay they want to get a room on the other side of town okay yeah, they all up in their fucking feelings about you, Scorpio. They like, damn, shawty, I made the wrong move. Shawty, this bitch is a bugaboo. Some shit done came out. Some shit done came out over her. Do you hear what I'm telling you? All right? All right, so maybe this is this wealthy person that's coming towards y'all, Scorpio. Take it as it resonates. If your person is wealthy and they married, this is who it is. Yeah, they coming to get you, baby. Born to shine, that's you. That's you. Yes, they doing some investigating on this born to shine, okay? So look at here. They watching you. They looking at your social media. They seeing if they still got a chance with you, okay? They love you. <laughs> they, you, you. You are their two of cups, okay? They are investigating. They are looking shit up. Ooh, they already know the tea. And they know you know the tea. Spirit is telling me everybody know what's going on up in here. But, um... I don't think that you guys know how this person feels, okay? Um, but just know this person is definitely watching you, okay? And Spirit is saying everything that I'm saying is true, okay? And the person that they with is a motherfucking nightmare, okay? Super nightmare, but this person is not taking care of their health, Scorpio. So please keep that in mind. They're not taking care of their health. Um, that's really sad. And whoever they're with, there is a night there, they are a nightmare, and that's why this person is filing a fucking divorce, okay? Okay. Oh, shit. All right. So let's see. Let's see what's goody good. All right. Now that we got all of that out of the way, let's see. Where's the karmics? Where's the karmics? Let's see what's going on with the karmic. How did the karmic get to the point where they're getting divorce pushed upon them? Okay. Spirit guides and ancestors. We just, we don't want to know too much. We just want to know why is this divorce happening? Why is this divorce happening? All right. Who are you? Okay, this divorce is happening because this person was wearing a false mask. This person, this karmic, your person don't even recognize who the fuck they married. They over there rolling over every morning like, who the fuck is this bitch? Like, who is this? Okay, like, who the hell is this nigga? I don't even know who the hell this nigga is, okay? So this divorce is happening because they feel like they don't even know this person. This person has completely did a 360 on your person, okay? And they are a goddamn nightmare. Straight up nightmare, all right? Is there anything else we need to know about this karmic? Okay, right out the deck. Okay, so yeah, they ain't having sex either, okay? So this karmic is not interested in having sex, all right? Maybe that's why they don't, they want to get a fucking divorce. How you gonna be married to somebody and you don't want to fuck? Like, bitch, what the fuck? I be goddamn, I don't marry you. You don't want to fuck me, bitch, you better. Let me stop, okay? So this karmic is not interested in sex. She don't, she doesn't want to put out. He doesn't want to put out, okay? It's just like, why are we married? You wear a mask, you don't want to have sex. Like, just get the fuck out my face. All right, so y'all... Your person is getting a divorce, okay? Maybe your person is wealthy, but it's, it's it's over, okay? And they coming in, Scorpio, to set the record straight. You can't make this shit up. Energy does not lie, okay? They are aligning their self with the universe, and they know they fucked up, okay? They know they fucked up. All right, Scorpio, that is all that I have for you guys today. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, this is part two. I'm sorry, part one was like five minutes, but my bad. You know, that's how I be with the iPhone. You pay for space and they still don't give you no motherfucking space. Anyway, I love you guys. See y'all next time. Bye.